currently lying just next to the road and about 10 meters in front of me is a willow ptarmigan as you might know from my earlier videos uh, the willow ptarmigan is a species that I've worked a lot with and had very minimal success with so to be so close to a species that I've wanted for so long is absolutely amazing so this is just such a cool experience lying here being accepted in the presence of a wild willow ptarmigan and just taking in all the sounds of the mountains the calls of the red-throated divers and and the sombre tunes of the golden plovers such a privilege to be here So red-throated loons. We left the ptarmigan, and now we've come back to the little stream that we visited yesterday. And the biggest difference now is that we have light. We have the golden midnight sun in the horizon. Uh, so currently we're just staying still and sitting low and letting nature get used to our presence. Currently, we're photographing towards the sun, so I'm going for mostly silhouettes. There was just a dunlin that flew by, so if I just stay still enough, maybe it's going to come closer. Or maybe, if I'm really quick, I can get a flight shot as it flies by. <laughs> Time approached midnight as we stopped by a tarn that had very recently cracked open. Along the ice edge, a white wagtail strutted in pursuit of insects, accompanied by a pair of long-tailed ducks resting on the opposite side. 
In contrast to the drake I'd photographed yesterday, these ducks still had their non-breeding plumage intact. I was pleased to get some simple portraits before we continued on our journey. Earlier on, we had been spotting enormous quantities of hares along the road, so we started keeping track. But driving over this mountain pass, there was another species that was surprising us with its numerous presence, the rock ptarmigan. Most of them would take off as soon as we stopped the car, but after a little while, we came across a beautiful male that would let us approach rather close. It took us several minutes to realise he was in fact not alone. By his side, a much more appropriately camouflaged female was providing him with company. They seemed very relaxed about our presence, providing us exceptional photography opportunities of this normally rather shy species. The midnight sun dipped in and out of sight behind the clouds. We spent several hours with these fascinating, hardy creatures of the Arctic tundra. Thank you. 